Hello everyone and welcome to what I believe will be a little bit longer of an update video. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I am going to talk about the upcoming channel updates for those of you who only care about my you know, reaction release schedule and you just care about the videos and all of that. I will get the logistics out of the way first and then I will dive into some stuff that's just been happening uh, in my life personally uh, for those of you who actually care about all of that, okay? I totally understand that some of you guys, do you just want to know when the videos are coming out and that is it? <laughs> and that is completely fine. So let's get to the logistics right off the bat. I guess there's sort of two updates that I want to talk about. The first one is that starting on, I believe, November 24th, going until about December 7th or 8th, uh, I will be taking my second two-week break of the year. Uh, I basically kind of came to the conclusion after doing this for many, many years that taking kind of two breaks, one in the first half of the year and one in the second half of the year is, you know, it, it just really helps me stay refreshed um, and just feel really, you know, kind of good about recording and you know sometimes and I know sometimes people have a hard time understanding this but sometimes you just need a break to not be on camera for a hot second um, or at least I do <laughs> so um, I will be taking my second two-week break um, then and uh, yeah so I, I there's a little bit going on uh, when it comes to the releases of shows that I watch during that time. So um, the main show that's going to kind of get sort of uh, shafted a little bit is Arcane. Uh, as some of you know who are excited for the new season that I believe it's dropping uh, this weekend. And... Um, I will be uh, getting a couple of reactions out uh, before my break. Um, they will be going out on Mondays. So the first one um, next Monday, I'm, uh, you can look out for that, barring any copyright issues and all of that. Um, but sadly, I will only be able to get a couple of reactions out before I go on my break. And <laughs> I feel bad about it. I feel bad whenever I, I take a break um, and there's a show currently airing that people are really excited about. However, when you react to so many shows and it, it's kind of almost impossible to find a time when, you know, nothing is releasing. So I do apologize to the Arcane fans that I will get a couple of reactions out and then you know, have to, you know, wait a couple of weeks for the next reactions to come out. But Arcane will be out every single Monday. Um, as per usual, uh, once I come back from break, I will continue on with Supernatural every Wednesday, Classic Who every Friday, and over on Patreon, Star Trek The Next Generation every Saturday. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to keep everything in my, uh, like, <laughs> sorted in my head right now. Uh, another show that will be premiering, uh, while I'm on break, I think the first two episodes will premiere, um, that first week in December is Skeleton Crew. Okay, so I will be, uh, reacting to Skeleton Crew. You should be getting the first reaction on the Thursday after I come back from break and they will be out every Thursday. I know there's going to be quite a few people who are going to want me to play catch up and and get them all out as soon as possible, but there's going to be a lot that I need to record, you know, once I get back from break and all of that. So um, it's just... <sighs> It's going to be tough for me to play catch up that quickly, um, so I just wanted to let you guys know. Arcane every Monday, Skeleton Crew every Thursday. All right. Uh, the second update that I wanted to give is that um, I will be traveling 
seeing friends and family over you know the week of Christmas. That's another reason why I can't play like the, the super quick catch up when it comes to Arcane and Skeleton Crew because I will have about two weeks back to sort of record a lot and get all of these reactions out and get back on to everything and I will be traveling um, that sort of, you know, holiday week. Uh, that uh, it, it, I won't be recording anything that week. So I won't be able to keep up with it. I would just fall behind again. It would be a whole thing. All right. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but it makes sense to me. All right. So for that week, you will still get reactions. You will still get Arcane. You will still get Supernatural. You will, you will still get Skeleton Crew and Classic Who. Going out on my channel, I will you know, work my little ass off to make sure that all of that is scheduled and ready to go um, for, you know, the, the week that I will be traveling for the holidays, um, visiting friends and family and all of that. Uh, but the stuff that is premiering that week, obviously, you will have to wait until the next week to see that. Okay, so the Doctor Who special. Um, that I will react to probably as soon as I get back. Um, so you can expect that the week after. And Squid Game is going to premiere as well. I will get to that after as well. Um, I am also aware that what if season three is going to be coming out and at this moment, and I'm really sorry to say this, at this moment, it is not on my schedule. The last What If season really didn't do well for me. And of all of the things that are coming out and given I have limited time to film a bunch of stuff, I, I don't know that I'm going to get to it right away or at all unless I get a lot of people wanting to see it. But it was a, the, for season two, it was a tremendous amount of effort and not a ton of payoff. And that's not to say anything about how much I enjoy the show. I absolutely have enjoyed the show, love the show. But I just wanted to say that at some point when there's all of these shows coming out and they you know they come back and and everything i have to very very sadly make some sort of executive decisions of like if it's not even breaking you know i think each reaction still to this day a year later averaged around like maybe 2k which is a very s small percentage of like my subscriber base and everything like that. I don't know. I don't know um, if I'm going to try to fit that in or if I'm going to, you know, I hate to say it because I know there's a lot of, of Marvel fans here and a lot of people who, who love um, that show. But at some point, as a reactor, you have to start making decisions of what's worth it. So at the moment, it is not on my schedule. And we'll see. I'll see what the response is here, um, maybe a little bit later, to see if I can squeeze it in at some point. But I, I have to be honest, it, it didn't do very well for me uh, for season two. So I, I might not react to it. I will probably still watch it um, regardless at some point, but we'll see, okay? I know that that's not happy news, but I wanted to at least explain to you all. And I, I understand that there's going to be a lot of you that are like, no, you have to do it and you have to do this and you have to do that. But I, I literally only have so much time, okay? 
Um, and if I'm going to do a show with minimal views, you bet it's going to be the Walking Dead universe. <laughs> Hey, that's what started my channel, and I'm gonna I'm gonna ride that off into the sunset. I swear. Alrighty. Um, okay, so I, I think those are the updates. Um, those of you who are over on Patreon, I am gonna try to get Arcane and Skeleton Crew and eventually Squid Game um, get you guys more reaction so that you have, um, you know, maybe a, you're a, a few ahead or a couple ahead of everyone else um, for the early access tier and all of that. But just be patient because it's, it's gonna be a bit hectic trying to film all of these things, get them out as quickly as possible. But that's just a little update for those of you on the early access tier for Patreon. Okay. Whew. <laughs> that was a lot, all right. Now I want to um, move on to some personal things. So if you only care about the channel updates, well then, uh, see you later. And um, hopefully uh, you'll, you'll enjoy some of the, the reactions that I have yet to come. Okay. Um, I wanted to vaguely open up about something that I have been dealing with over this past year, longer than this past year to be fair, but especially this past year. And why I say vaguely is because I'm still kind of in it and I'm, I'm gonna be, as I said, a little bit vague about how much I share about this because it's still, I'm still going through it. It's still really fresh and I'm still struggling with this. Um, and sometimes when you're going through something very serious um, and very kind of personal to you, you don't need a ton of commentary about it. But I do want to open up to you guys about this in general. Um, kind of towards, especially the end of last year, um, the end of 2023 and the beginning of this year, I was struggling very, very significantly with OCD. I got diagnosed this year with OCD and have been going through some therapy, um, to try to I guess the right word is try to conquer it or try to um, live with it better and all of that. To say that the end of last year to the beginning of this year I was not okay is the biggest understatement. Um, I was riddled with anxiety most days. And it was like very serious physical symptoms. My heart was racing. It, it is the, very difficult for me to explain what I went through every single day. And the biggest struggle that I had with it, you know, because I've, I've been very open on my channel about um, having anxiety, dealing with anxiety, and how sometimes it really runs away from you. You know, you, you, it, it's, a, it's a very difficult thing to control, right? <laughs> and as, as somebody with OCD, you really try to control it. Spoiler alert, you can't. Um, <laughs> but um, it, it was these physical symptoms that I kept trying to, to do things to, you know, lessen that anxiety. And that's what OCD is. You have maybe an, an obsessive thought or an obsession. I'm not going to go into specifics with all of that. You know, I do apologize. 
um, cause I do like opening up to you guys, but I'm still in it. So I'm, I'm going to kind of protect myself here a little bit. Um, and then you do a compulsion to kind of calm that anxiety, but it's only temporary. And the next time the anxiety comes back, it's so much stronger. And I think I was quote unquote feeding the beast of OCD. I would say for years, probably. And it just came to uh, fruition very significantly the end of last year, beginning of this year. Um, and the hardest part for me was I was getting mad at myself. When it's something that is spurred on by your head, by your mental state, I'm having anxiety and my thoughts a lot of the time were like, oh my God, I don't have time for this. Can you like fucking not? Like it was this weird frustration, self-hatred thing. Um, and I, I, I like myself, don't worry. But I just, it, it, it was just being really angry with yourself because you had anxiety and you couldn't just tell it to go off basically. And I was, embarrassed, um, which is weird because I wasn't talking about it really. I wasn't, you know, being super open about my anxiety. Um, there was a couple times throughout this year that I did mention it on um, Patreon. Um, there was one movie reaction that, I don't know, it just really related, so I, <laughs> I talked about it at the end of that one a little bit. But it, it, there's a lot of emotions that come with struggling with something like this towards yourself. And I was very anxious a lot of the days. And it is, I cannot tell you how hard. Sorry, I'm trying not to cry because I have to film something after this. <laughs> um, I cannot tell you how hard it is to go through that and feel that much anxiety and be so frustrated. And by the way, as soon as you start feeling frustrated, your anxiety gets worse. <laughs> it was a sick cycle, let me tell you. It still is, but it's a lot less now and I'll, I'll get to that. But, um, and have to put yourself on camera and be like, hey guys. <laughs> and, um, I, I think I did a very, very good job, thankfully, thankfully of being able to really still record while being in this state. And even though the anxiety was still there, I felt I, I was not okay for a hot second. Let me tell you that. Um while recording, but I was able to sort of separate what I was feeling in that regard to let me pay attention. I'm pointing to my TV right now. <laughs> let me pay attention to the show, to all of this. And, and, you know, um, it, it was, I, it's very difficult to explain, but regardless, it was exhausting. I was tired all the time. When your body feels these symptoms of anxiety day in and day out and you're just like, sorry, I can't get out of this. I don't know how to get out of this. What do I do? And um, 
I started just trying, well, and then I did get diagnosed with OCD, but the problem is I was on a waiting list for therapy and I didn't start therapy until I think it was the end of August to the beginning of September-ish around that time. So I had to wait from like January of identifying, okay, this is OCD, and then having to wait that long to actually start therapy for it. So I did what everyone um, recommends against, and I, I don't recommend this, <laughs> but I was lost. I was like, I cannot keep going day to day feeling this way. I just, oh, what is wrong with me? So I, I, you know, I, I went on the internet and tried to get advice from other people's personal stories of how they managed it. And that's what I did. I tried my best to manage it as much as I could until I could get my ass into therapy to actually figure out what was going on, why my brain was working in this way, and what is actually the treatment or the therapy to manage it. And that's what I've been doing these past few months. Um, it's been hard, <laughs> I won't lie. Um, sorry. It's been exhausting, but it is working. I am so much better than I was at the beginning of this year. I don't know that you can tell right now because I'm crying, but um, I am and I feel it. And I feel a shift happening in my mental state. In, and I was so lost at the beginning of this year. I really was like, I'm just gonna live with this forever. But um, I'm not out of the tunnel yet by any means, but there's a, there's a little light over there, <laughs> you know? Oh, sorry. Okay. So because of all of this, because of this sort of off screen, if you will, battle that I've kind of been going through, sorry. Um, I made a promise to myself this year that my priority was figuring out this mental struggle and getting to a better place. My priority is not overworking myself and producing a ton of videos, even though I know you guys would probably like them. Um, you would love if I put another show on my on my roster and all of that. But I made a promise to myself, do not add anything else if you can not. And it's hard because if you guys have followed me for a while, I love like, I'll be like, yeah, let's add another show in the mix. Here we go. <laughs> And um, it, it's quite interesting that like, you know, I'm, I'm, when I put out a video almost every day, and if it kind of lessens to just maybe like four videos a week, or maybe three videos or something like that for a couple of weeks, I'm like, oh, I'm not doing enough. I need to do more. I feel like that's just like a, a reactor YouTuber mentality that a lot of us have, but um, this year I said, no, it doesn't matter if it's going to be the, the hot new thing that's going to get you a lot of views. Dealing with what I need to deal with mentally is so much more important than that. Um, and that was the thing. I did technically do Fallout. But I did it when I was able to. 
And I got a lot of shit. I won't... I can't even tell you. I got a lot of shit when Fallout was coming out or a little bit after it came out, kind of like May, June timeframe, which June, I, there was no way I could fit Fallout even if I wanted to because June was a hectic month for me this year. But, um, you know, people were like, if you wait to do these reactions, you're not going to get a lot of views. You're not going to get a lot of attention. And it's honestly, it's just stupid that, you know, if you postpone it, well, views were not my goal this year. Me not breaking down and crying every day was my goal this year, riddled with anxiety. And I'm working on it and I'm getting there. But I, I, I do want to say it's been a long journey, but I am feeling better. I still have bad days. I had a, a bad day a couple of, I, I forget, it was a couple of weeks ago. I had a really bad one. Um, so I'm still kind of in it, but it is so much better than it once was. And I think that that's a really, really important thing for me to kind of tell myself. And again, I'm really sorry about being kind of vague about, you know, what, sort of the specifics of my OCD and what it has manifested as and all of that. Um, but as I said, you know, sometimes when you're still in it and you're still fighting this fight, I know most of you are super lovely and wonderful and supportive and I love you. But there's some that I don't need the input from the peanut gallery while I'm still in it. You know what I mean? For example, uh, I, <laughs> when I got my surgery, if you remember, uh, on, you know, on my nose for my breathing, um, I mentioned, I did an update video saying I'm getting surgery. So schedule's going to be late for a hot second, you know, just so you know, um, and I didn't realize that my entire subscriber base were all doctors. <laughs> That's an exaggeration. But there was a lot of comments about like, no, 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 you should do this. My friend had this problem and they did this. Don't get surgery. It's like, I'm getting the surgery. And by the way, the surgery worked. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, uh, I remember when that happened and I'm like, I don't need that type of commentary on my mental state right now. You know what I mean? Okay. But I did want to share with you guys, just so you guys knew sort of what's been going on with me throughout this year. Um, and in some regards, it has been insanely hard. And in other regards, I'm quite proud of myself. I'm proud of myself for not overworking myself. And also, um, taking the steps that I need to in order to get myself together mentally. Because once I feel so much better, then, then it's go time. Then, uh, you know, uh, I feel like the videos and everything, I will feel better. So they'll probably come out better. You know what I mean? It, it's really important to take care of yourself when it comes to these mental struggles. And I'm very fortunate that my line of work here, I'm able to, you know, lessen my schedule when I need to. All right, that was really long. No idea who is uh, still here, but I'm going to talk about the second thing that is going on with me personally. And good luck to me. I'm going to try to not cry. We'll see. I'm going to be kind of brief about this, though. Um, I mentioned in, I believe, the penultimate reaction to Agatha 
that Rocco had a kind of a wound thing. It's very hard to describe, to be honest, on his paw. And um, he was in a cone. <laughs> he's still in the cone. And, um, you know, he's, he's very vocal about being in the cone, especially at night. He doesn't love it. So I haven't been sleeping well and all of that. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I kind of said that we were going to get it checked out on Friday. Got it checked out on Friday and he has cancer. Um, I love how I said I'm going to try not to cry. Who the fuck do I think I am? <laughs> um, I am not aware of the severity of it just yet. I'm kind of in this state of waiting for Thursday. Basically, he has cancer. It's, oh God, it didn't even look like a growth to me, but I, it, it, it was. Um, and it's attached to one of his toes on his paw. And so Thursday, he is scheduled for surgery to remove the toe that's going to like get rid of all of it, hopefully. But on Thursday, the vet said to me that there is possibility of it having spread and if that is the case, then um, depending on where it's spread to and, and, and all of that, they're going to do like a chest x-ray and all of that before the surgery. Um, if it turns out that it's spread, then he's kind of on borrowed time anyway. So they're probably not going to remove the um, the toe because that would just be putting him through surgery for no reason um, when he's not going to live much longer. Um, and I think from what the vet was telling me, the odds are kind of 50-50, excuse me, that it's possible that they're going to, you know, see that it has spread within him. Um, or it's going to be contained to just the paw and they'll be able to get it with surgery. So the past few days, I have just been kind of in this weird, like I'm waiting to find out if I might have some more time. I know cancer can always come back and all of that. Cancer is a fickle bitch. Um, I know that, but I'm kind of waiting to hear, do I have more time? Or should I start preparing? To lose my best friend. <laughs> so it's been difficult. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, it's just, it's been hard. Um, I had plans to uh, travel <laughs> on this two week break that I was taking. Um, the vet told me, he said, he said, it, it the, the surgery is pretty quick as, as dire as it is, the, the surgery is pretty simple and he can be fully recovered before you go on the trip that I was planning on going on. Cause I don't want to leave Rocco obviously when he's recovering from, you know, surgery and stuff. Uh, so he was like, don't cancel it just yet. But I'm like, I don't think I'm going. <laughs> We'll see. There's a lot riding on Thursday for me, um, you know, and um, 
hopefully it's good news. Um, and I was going to wait to make this update video until I knew more about that whole situation. But if it does turn out to be really bad news on Thursday and I find out that I only have so much time left with Rocco because the cancer has spread to his chest and all of that, I'm not going to want to sit here and, no offense, talk to you guys about it. So I actually... I will probably post like an update or something like that on my community tab because I'm, I'm sure some of you are, are worried and or concerned. I will try to do that. Um, but, you know, I, 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 I wanted to let you guys know what's been going on with me. And because of all of this stuff with Rocco, I don't know what my filming schedule is going to be for the next little bit. I don't know how all of this is going to go. I really don't. And, um, it's just a lot right now. It's just a lot for me to go through. And, um, I, uh, I had a couple of things planned um, for within like the next couple of months that I was going to film, um, in the next few weeks. I film things early. You guys know that. Um, and, uh, I might postpone those things. Okay. Luckily, the things that I'm probably going to postpone if I need to are things you didn't even know we're coming anyway, so <laughs> it's nothing that I just spoke about or anything like that. I should be able to still record, you know, uh, Arcane and, and, and Supernatural and Classic Who and, you know, um, After Break Skeleton Crew and the Doctor Who Special and Squid Game and all of that, but if it does seem like the end of this year, is a little bit of a lighter schedule than you would normally expect from me. There's a few factors behind the scenes as to why. And I know most of you are absolutely fine with it and just want me to take care of myself and I really appreciate that. So thank you. This was a long fucking update video and I'm so sorry about that but I really wanted to actually take the time and talk to you guys about what's going on with me and not just like, you know, quick little things at the end of videos and, and, and things of, of that nature. So for those of you who care, you can watch the long rants about what's going on with me. And for those of you who don't, hopefully you've clicked off at this point. <laughs> all right. Thank you so, so much for all of your support. And, um, I'm going go to go kind of clean up a little bit because I got to record something else. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.